So today we're going to be working with actually grounding. And I have a couple of exercises that we can do that may be helpful for that. So let's get started. So you can find a quiet space somewhere in your backyard where you won't be disturbed for a few minutes. Or as well, you can stay inside because I'm going to give you an option where you can ground while you're seated. And there are many ways of grounding. Uh, you can ground with your hands. The hands can take in the energy, your feet, your heart. So, but for right now, we're going to be working with our feet. So feel free to be wherever you are the most comfortable. And before we begin, one of the things I like to do is to connect to my, what, my root or my sacral chakra, or as they call it in uh, Qigong, your Datian, which is your energy center. And I like to do a simple hand mudra. You may, this is optional, of course, whatever you wish to do and make like a little hand mudra like this. And then I put it over my Dantian. And you can do this whether you are seated or standing to ground. Just, it'll, it kind of helps to remind you um, to stay deep in your body and to also breathe from that Dantian space instead of lifting up here, right? We don't, a lot of times people will breathe if they try to breathe and take in a deep breath, they, they tense. But what we want to do is just open up that Dantian space so your whole, around your whole body, into your back and your hips will expand with the breath. So I want you to imagine that you are letting the nerve endings up at the bottom of your feet plug in, literally plugging it, plugging into the electromagnetic field of the earth. We have so many nerve endings on our feet and uh, it, it informs our body and can take in the beautiful electromagnetism of the earth. And just something to tell you, some people don't realize that we are electrical beings and that we literally need this energy from the earth in order to sustain our health and well-being, certainly the health and well-being of our nervous systems. And that our hearts and our brain actually produce electromagnetic fields that come out about three or four feet from our bodies and that they're called torus fields and that they interact with our environment and other people well they also interact with each other and when you are in a very relaxed state when those two fields are entrained or synced up that can produce another state that is called heart brain coherence and heartmath.org is a wonderful resource um, for studying all things about the heart. And that is a beautiful state, an optimum state uh, for us to be in kind of that, what is uh, Eckhart Tolle calls it, is it a relaxed or a calm awareness? You're aware, you're very focused, and but you're very relaxed. So with that said, I invite you, yes, to start really focusing into that feeling. And one of the things that you can do if you're seated is I like to, I like to um, just sort of squeeze my pelvis. Um, just like <laughs> somebody said, um, let, let your buttocks hug each other. And hug and release, hug and release. And what that does, that helps your pelvis to relax deeper into the chair so you can have a more of a sense of that, all right? So if you're standing, you're going to imagine that your feet are plugging in. The nerve endings on your feet are plugging in to the ground. And if you are seated, you're going to imagine that the nerve endings at the base of your spine are sending an, sending like an anchor down to the earth, to beautiful Mother Earth. So let's take a couple minutes and do that now. And while you're doing that, what I love to do too is to grab the earth with my toes, kind of like a kitty cat will need. Can you do that? Do that now with your toes. 
where you're kneading the ground. It's also good for your toes and your feet to do this. So knead and feel that like you're bringing in that energy every time your foot relaxes. Or if it works better for you, imagine that you're riding a bicycle. And the pedals, you're pushing the pedals up and down, up and down. So let's just feel that. Just feel that for a little while. Up and down. See if you can feel and sense that energy coming into you. And you are actually grounding down into a living planet. A living planet that's that's moving. And we're kind of like riding that. Can you sense that, that aliveness, the aliveness of Mother Earth? Mm. Nice, deep, relaxed breaths while you're doing this. You can practice your compassionate listening in the background. That's in the background. Mm. As Miss Blue Jay is helping us out, just allow yourself to feel deep within your body, plugging in, anchoring down to the earth and pulling in, pulling in through your feet, through the base of your spine that energy, that sustaining energy, the enlivening energy. Sometimes I get into a very deep meditative state when I'm doing grounding, even when I'm outside with all the noise. <laughs> so yes, so you're going to be trying to practice a little bit of that in the background, that listening while you're breathing deep into your Dantian, connecting to the earth, like a kitty cat, kneading the ground, kneading the ground. Whether you're seated or standing, you're still going to do that with your feet. It's a really beautiful practice. Uh, I have, in the several years that I've been doing grounding, I absolutely notice a difference in how I feel afterwards. And just overall, I think uh, I, there's there's all sorts of resources online that you can take a look at. Uh, there's a movie called The Earthing Movie or The Grounding Movie. Uh, it's a documentary. Fascinating. Studies have been done about the extreme benefits of connecting to the earth. The more often you can get outside or just use your intention to ground, you can ground through the floor. You can ground if you're in a penthouse apartment in New York City, you can still connect to the earth anywhere you are at any time.